and in the Upper East region, the Regional Directorate of the Ministry of Agriculture does not have a single combined harvester. The Regional Director, Francis Eno, told TV3's Peter Kawadato, rice farmers in the region rely on private enterprises during harvesting of the cereal. Another challenge rice farmers in the Upper East region encounter aside ready market is the inadequacy of combined harvesters. Due to this, large hectares of mature rice remain on the fields, leaving farmers stranded. The farmers say they turn to a situare in the greater Accra region for harvesters. Owners also pack them away from the farms, demanding outright payment before they can render services. They, they are looking for money. And we, the farmers, we don't even have money. The women that bought three for two, they are also saying that they have to send them uh, the, the rice to the market before they will come and give us the money. Initial stage, what they are saying is that we have to pay them half. If you are having 20 acres, you have to pay them 10 acres in advance before they will continue harvesting. And when they're done with the, the whole uh, farm of yours, they will now pay the remaining balance. Their greatest fear now is bushfires, which are rampant at this time of the year. As I'm talking like this, you see that there's fire coming down. You see, there's fire over there. Over there. It's coming toward that direction. So if this outbreak is uh, happened to be okay the end of the night, the next day, you not come and meet any rice here. Our checks at the Upper East Regional Agri Directorate confirmed their plight. As a region, the ministry, now you don't have any combined harvester. Yes, you don't have anyone operating. What we have, the hours scrap, about two of the hours packed behind our offices here. They can't, they cannot do anything. It's actually a big problem. Francis Eno further recounted attempts being made by the regional directorate to respond to the growing needs of the farmers. We have an individual who has about four. Unfortunately, he is also farming around that area. So he's using his combined to support. But looking at the area, the volume of produce that has come this year, is actually a big problem. And the ministry as a, a whole is making frantic effort to bring in more. So we believe by next year, the combined harvester situation will improve. Another major concern is whether the intervention of National Food Buffer Stock Company will be fulfilled. As at Friday, November 29, nine days after their visit to the Gilembi Sea Valley near Fumbisi, the farmers are yet to see any improvement. I'm hearing from uh, another media that they have sent some people to come and buy a rice and then there is still even not enough rice for them, which is not true. They should tell me who have come here to buy the rice. They shouldn't add injury to our pain. They said they have sent 23 buyers to here. They should even mention why name. And if the government is going to put some people to come and buy, there won't be a hiding thing. It will come, we will all know that this person have come. The only purchasing activities on site were from the individual buyers who have been taking three maxi bags for the price of two. We are, uh, have I said, combines people who are chasing us for their, their services charges. So... Those of us who don't have money, we just compel to sell it to whoever offer any price just for you to do away with your debts. So the proper stock, if they really mean business, they should just come quickly and save us. The farmers appealed to the Minister of Agriculture to help save their investments. That uh, if one person can able to buy 275 uh, constitution buses for a party, then it's good that they should buy combines for you, the farmers. Who put food to you before you even go out as a minister, as a party chairman, as a president, as a minister, as a teacher, everybody. So we are pleading with them that let's stop the politics and do the right thing to we, the farmers.